it appears this sudden fish kill is spreading. Local 10 News reporter Ian Margul is live now to show us much more tonight. Ian. Calvin, there are several communities around our area that have absolutely stunk for several days at this point. Fish washing up on the shores, the buzzards picking them up and putting them in people's yards to have a nice lunch, and it stinks. People wanting to know why this is happening. It smells like dead fish. The stench is pungent, and it's attracted some unwanted visitors. And we have never seen these vultures here before, never. It's happening in Plantation, Aventura, Pembroke Pines, and others all around our area right now. Thousands of fish are going belly up, and people living in these neighborhoods want to know why. And I came out with a bag and gloves, and I picked up an entire bag full of dead fish yesterday off my lawn. And then we did it again this morning. So we took that question to Dr. David Kerstetter of Nova Southeastern University, and he says there are a lot of potential answers for why fish kills like these happen, but most of them come back to a lack of dissolved oxygen in the water. It can result from a number of things. It could be decomposing algae. Uh, it could be increased nutrients in the water that then cause the algae. Big fishes tend to be a little bit more susceptible to low DO than smaller ones. The good news, he says, is that this kind of thing tends to fix itself relatively quickly. And hey, at least the buzzards are getting a good meal. Fish kills are a natural part of the ecosystem, especially in South Florida because of the warm water. Uh, there's a circle of life component. The vultures are not going to let those fish go to waste. So a little bit of a bright side here. Stay with me here. I'm going to give you a bit of a science lesson of why they believe this could be happening. Now, there's something called turnover. Normally, because we have such warm weather here in South Florida, the water is pretty warm. But because we had some cooler weather the last couple of days, that upper level of water was more dense. It then can sink to the bottom, mix with that stuff that's on the bottom, and push all of those organisms and things like that up. And that's why some of this water could look brown or murky, and that could also lower those oxygen levels in the water and cause these fish kills. Again, the good news though, they expect this could fix itself pretty soon. Live in Plantation, I'm Ian Margul, Local 10 News.